At the heart of the mapping application is the ability for our staff to quickly respond to where are the children and youth that are in care and making sure that we're able to support the caregivers in a very, very stressful time and in a state of emergency. One of the ways that I approached this was to reach out to staff that were involved in the 2017 wildfire response and talk to them to find out what was it that made it really challenging, what was it that we could potentially do to try to make their life easier, to be more effective um, during emergency events. And one of the big pieces that was identified was a lack of situational awareness or real-time situational awareness, that knowing of which kids were impacted in which communities and how many of them so that they could then reach out and provide support directly to those families. Because information comes in from so many different sources and it changes at different rates and by different um, agencies and governments, it was never really clear who had the most current information. The entire city of Williams Lake was evacuated. In the midst of all the evacuation, it was like, is everything printed so that I can track kids on my phone? Or, you know, while I'm sitting in traffic evacuating, you don't want to have to cipher through what is reliable, what isn't. You want to be able to use an application, one click of a button and find out what you need to know when you just want to make sure that you're doing your job and that children and families are safe. So before we had the app in place, uh, our frontline social workers uh, we're having to go in on a very regular basis and update the paper-based records. And so what this has allowed us to do is to do a data extract from our different information systems in real time, in a digital map with multiple layers. We can layer on evacuation alerts, uh, road obstructions. It gives us the assurance. So at any point in time, we've got a much higher degree of comfort for where our children are. What excites me most about the program is that it really frees staff up to um, respond to caregivers, support caregivers, and be out supporting clients in the state of an emergency and our ability to wrap services around them in a much faster, fluid way. The fact that we can use technology to make sure that children and families are safe and that our staff aren't walking around feeling the weight of responsibility of um, a human error, it means a lot to me that that ability now exists. So the biggest impact is increased safety. I mean, at the end of the day, we're here to safeguard the kids, to provide whatever it is, the services that the families are and the caregivers need in order to keep the kids and the youth safe. And if we have the ability to identify faster who is impacted, then that enables us to respond faster, enables us to reach out to those caregivers, it enables us to have those conversations. And so we took something that previously would take hours to do into something that was now being able to accomplish basically within a minute to two time. It was amazing.